Hello and welcome back for our final segment of Across the Gulf Coast. Well, now we are joined by Lloyd and Robin Richard. They are the co-founders of the Pensacola Network, and they're here to talk to us uh, about the Pensacola Network and everything that they can offer uh, to, community, to the community. Thank you both so much for being my guest today. Hey, Thank you. Thanks for having us here. Absolutely. It's always a pleasure to have you guys on. I know y'all have been on before to talk about the Pensacola Network, so let's kind of dive right in, Robin, and, and tell me a little bit about the Pensacola Network and kind of the purpose behind it and the need for, for these types of events. So we say um, two things about the Pensacola Network, and um, it, we say for Pensacola, but it's, you know, Pensacola and surrounding sure, areas, absolutely. and to network. The idea is to connect people and strengthen relationships, and that really goes to the core of what both and I believe, what people and, and business people, community people have taught us in our lives, is that it starts with relationships. And mm -hmm. so we try to bring, well, we bring people together every month to connect and so um, thereby strengthening the community, whether it's the business community or their residential community, social, um, economic, cultural, all of that starts with just having a good relationship with somebody. So we just try to make that platform for it to happen. So how did y'all come up with this idea? How did you say, you know what, this, this community really needs, this, this community really needs an, an event like this. How did y'all kind of come up with the idea? Uh, I think it was just kind of, <laughs> <laughs> Lloyd well, likes to tell the story of us meeting networking. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, the bottom line, we were doing some networking events over in Fort Walton and, uh, and so uh, folks wanted us to do something similar over here in Pensacola and Takes a lot of effort, so mm -hmm. we. But uh, finally, um, back about three years ago, uh, we started talking to Gulf Power to get some help on getting one kicked off here, and that's how it got started here. Yeah. So let's talk about the networking events. Uh, what all takes place there? What are the types of topics, speakers, and, and things of that nature do you guys have uh, taking place at these actual events? Well, I, we do um, a series of things. It's every fourth Friday between mm -hmm. five and eight in historic Belmont de Villers. And we open it up with networking so people can come and just meet people, see old friends, meet new friends, see old customers, meet new customers, new contract, mm -hmm. uh, uh, new resources. And um, light hors d'oeuvres, uh, everything is free and open to the public. Uh, and so we do that for about an hour and a half. And then we come in and... and um, talk to someone about a particular issue, and that could be economic or social. So again, it's trying to strengthen a community. And so uh, we call it the Pensacola Network Show, and we mm -hmm. tape it so people can look at it later. And we talk um, about the, to the person about them, so people can get, again, back to that relationship about what the challenges are for that issue and then what the opportunities are for that issue. Who I'm sorry, mm. but who are, who are some of the, the guests that you've had on the, on the, uh, the show when you've taped it and then... Had, um, uh, we've had uh, Lewis and Bell Bear uh, talk about the power of corporate giving mm -hmm. and corporate That's partnerships, right. corporate relationships. Um, we've had uh, both Commissioner Lumen May uh, talking and um, Commissioner uh, Grover Robinson, the mayor, the sheriff. Uh, we've had business people, uh, Bentina Terry, talking about mm -hmm. the Restore Act. Um, we just had Nicole Dixon talking about um, pay, women's pay equity. Um, and I know I'm sure I'm missing a, <laughs> but a, lot, a, whole, a whole bunch. Yeah, yeah, a lot of different topics, a lot of different, like yeah. you said, social, economic development, government yeah. Uh, yeah. Related topics. So a little something for, for everybody right. there. Yeah. Uh, if somebody, you mentioned they're recorded, somebody wants to go back and, and watch a previous uh, taping. Where do they find these? Uh, at the uh, picolanetwork.com, there's a link for the uh, videos, and you can go take a look at them. They go way back to 2013. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, now, if somebody watching at home wants to get involved, whether they want to start coming to the events, they want to partner, maybe sponsor, possibly uh, volunteer as a, as a guest, or, oh. <laughs> uh, how, how, how can they go about doing oh, that? Oh, fan fantastic. Um, the, the first thing is to connect um, by coming to the event or mm -hmm. going to the website or we also have an event site called uh, Pens uh, Pensacola Network Events, and so anyone can come to the event, and that's the really the idea behind the event is you don't have to be a member, mm -hmm. and so that's the kind of unique thing. You could be looking for a job, you can uh, you can have a job and want to look for a better job. You could be uh, looking for a business partner. It's just a unique opportunity to start from right where you are and make the connections you, you need to succeed, and so uh, so that's for the folks that come now, mm -hmm. the, the sponsors, um, they can uh, contact uh, myself and, 
And basically we have the founding sponsors, which are folks like uh, Cox and Gulf Power, uh, UWF, uh, Pensacola State, just uh, about a dozen or so founding sponsors. And then we have some corporate sponsors like um, the hospitals and uh, et cetera. And we're looking to get some bank sponsors because mm -hmm. so we, we want to educate the people about the banking industry yeah. and finance and stuff like that. We also have organizational sponsors, uh, the uh, chamber, both chambers are sponsors. Uh, we have um, some small businesses um, that, that sponsor as well, and also some individual sponsors. So there's some unique opportunities, and the, the sponsors are, are the one that's trying to help grow the community, help people make the connections uh, that help them grow. Yeah, so a lot of different ways to get involved. Yes, so yes. That, that, that's fantastic. definitely volunteers. We like to we like to get students involved as well. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. The opportunity because they they're looking for summer jobs, they're looking for jobs after they graduate, and so we love you know to get the students involved and help show them how to network and help them connect to jobs and opportunities. Perfect. Well, Robin and Louie, thank you so much for coming on the show today. I know uh, we've got a lot to talk about, but not a lot of time to do it. So I will have to have you guys back on again to talk about yeah. the uh, Pensacola Network a little bit more, but I appreciate you being my guest today. Thank you. Oh, we appreciate the partnership with Cox, too. We, we uh, thank definitely, you. most definitely thank appreciate it. Absolutely. And thank you for joining us this month. Join us in June as we take another look across the Gulf Coast. Thanks for watching Across the Gulf Coast. Join us next month when we highlight more organizations, events, and people from around our local community.